Hi folks, guess where I am? I am at uh, BMW Falmouth, uh, the motorhead dealer down here in Falmouth in Cornwall. And look at this, this is my bike. My trusty GS1200. Uh, it's got 37,000 miles on it. And uh, this is my fifth GS adventure I've had, uh, 1200. And I've got rid of it. Got rid of it, you say? Got rid of it? Can't believe you. Because I have just bought this little beauty. <laughs> Look at this. The GS850. The GSA850. Brand spanking new. September the 1st today. It's got a brand spanking new number plate on it. And so this is going to be my net bike for the next couple of years. Probably until... BMW worry about how many miles are on it but uh, I'm going to go for a ride on it now my new bike how exciting is that now I know you're all laughing because just close my helmet up and get myself all sorted I know you're all laughing because Mr Mark has been going on and on and on and on about um chains and shaft drive and all the rest of it I have finally bitten the bullet after five GS adventures and I bought a bike with a chain on it so I guess you're asking why why this one lots of reasons really I was looking at the um, the adventure uh, the um, Africa twin like the Africa twin I love the Africa Twin. I also like lots of other bikes. Um, what else did I like? I like the Versus 1000, that was an amazing bike. All chain bikes. But I've gone for this. Lots of reasons really. I like the BMW um, brand and um, how we can use it while we're on tour obviously I'm doing lots of uh, touring I need to know that I can get the bike recovered if there's an issue and BMW is after market, after market services amazing um, I need to know that if I'm in a foreign country and something goes wrong I can get it sorted quite quickly which is what they do very well and they have done for us many times so that's that was one reason the other reason is uh, I actually like the bike it's very similar in every aspect to the GS Adventure 1200 or the 1250s it now is it's got all the bells and whistles on that my old bike had everything that that had is on this bike um, and so it seemed a natural uh, progression really it's a bit lighter so I don't need to beast myself by moving when I'm moving it around it's such a heavy bike the uh, one of the main things though was when why I chose this one about against other bikes was when I moved this uh, when I got this one I could take my boom up panniers directly off my GS adventure 1200 and they'll fit exactly onto this bike uh, without any uh, any modifications or anything like that. Now, if I'd have bought a, a, an Africa Twin, I would have had to uh, buy either new panniers, and I'm not sure they do that. They were able to boom out. I'm not sure they would be able to um, fit the pannier system because I think it's a hook system that they use on there. I don't think it's metal frames. Can't remember now. It's been so long. Certainly wouldn't fit on the Versus. The Versus has got one of those systems where it all uh, hooks into it so it just made sense and the other thing is the people at Motorrad in Falmouth there Ocean uh, BMW did me an awesome deal <laughs> when it comes down to it it's all about money isn't it so I picked this up today dropped off my old bike which I must admit I'm sad about it's got 37,000 miles on it. it's just two years old um, not hard miles 
Uh, it's no, you know, it doesn't get raced, it just bimbles along when I'm on tour. Um, I use it pretty much every day, which is why it picks the miles up so quickly. But that's what bikes are for, isn't it? I'm not one of these people who would have a bike sat in a garage for um, months on end because it's raining or anything like that. That's not what motorbikes are about, I don't think. So I've got this. Obviously lots of stuff to put on it. Stuff that fits the GS, so that generally quite a bit of it fits this as well. So I'm quite excited by it. And we'll be able to give you a long term uh, report on it. See how it goes, but I chose this colour scheme. I actually wanted the Battleship Grey, but they don't do battle, the Battleship Grey with gold wheels. Gold wheels, you say? Why do you want gold wheels? Well, I want gold wheels because the black ones on all my GSAs are a pain in the neck to clean. <laughs> and I hate cleaning my bike. So, um, gold wheels, you don't have to worry about that so much, do you? People are saying, oh, an 850 is not really as good as the, uh, as the 1200. Well, I think that's a bit of a fallacy, you know. Bikes are bikes now, aren't they, you know? And you think what a 600cc bike did 20 years ago, and what a 600cc bike is capable of now. Massively different. It's only 94 brake horsepower, this one. And the GSA, I think, was 130, might have been. But, you know, none of us are using that capacity of the bike, are they? You know? People who are riding racetracks are using the bikes at their maximum capacity. Most of us, I would say 95% of us, unless we're on a track, are just poodling. So this has got a quick shift on it. It's got heated grips. It's got ABS. It's got ESA. It's got all the bells and whistles. And I'm really looking forward to riding it. So... Luckily, it's a nice sunny day. Normally I pick bikes up in the pouring rain. They're going, oh, just be careful to scrub the tyres in. Well, this bike had got 14 miles on the clock when I uh, picked it up. So it's got all the stuff, the TFT screen. It's got, you know, USB connections that will be fitted to it. And we're really lucky that uh, a company called Nippy Normans have said they'll provide us with some stuff to review. So I'll be able to get some review stuff, which would be really nice. I'm sure. Anyway, there we go. New bike. Morning, Mark. Oh, hello. Look, big, excited, smiley face I've got. Why, have you got a black 1200? No, I ah. have this little beauty here. Look, there's my new bike. Don't look at the chain. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's an 850 GSA. Wow. Brand spanker, mate. Loving the, loving the colours. I like the colour. It's not. The, I didn't think I was going to like it to begin with. Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of a scratch there already. Oh have to well. Go back, ben. Oh, I definitely have to go back. Anyway, there we go. Gold wheels. That's all about the bling, isn't it? It's all nice. And Mark used to be <coughs> so unsuperficial. <laughs> Best thing about it was I could take these panniers off my GSA, my yeah. 1200, and they fit straight on here. So I've saved myself loads of money, haven't I? You have. But I love it. I've already picked it up and done a little ride on it, so um, you know how I feel about it. I've had it a couple of days now, and it's uh, really quite an enjoyable ride. It's less he it's less heavy than the 1200. It's about, I think, about 25, 30 kilos lighter, something like that. 23 litre tank. So the tank gave me 360 miles starting off. I was amazed because like on the GSA, on the 1200, I was like getting that on tour perhaps, but uh, it's doing 62 miles to the gallon at the moment. Wow. Which is pretty smart considering <laughs> it's not even done 300 miles yet. But a couple of things I've added to it. I've put the uh, big <coughs> hand guards on it. Now they're the same ones that we had from Nippy Normans for the 1200, so they fit. Yep. On both of them. Easy. Same. same exactly the same hand guards. I've also taken the uh, rubber bungs off my old foot pegs. They came from somewhere in Italy. Yeah. Did that. Stuff to put on. So much stuff to put on. But I really like it. It's uh, the only thing I don't like about it though is this look, the GPS. And on all the forums. It's the same GPS as any other it's the GPS. Position, mate. Yeah. It's so not in your, your eye line. Here, look at that bike in front. 
My. Well, the blood bite. No, the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get what you get what you're saying because I guess when you're sat there, you you've got to look down there, and I wonder whether how much you, how much reflection you're going to get. You get apparently on all the forums are saying it's a really bad angle to have it at. So I've ordered from Wunderlich. Yeah. <laughs> a bar that goes across here, across the screen. Yeah. And it will be fitted in your eye line like it is on on the bigger bikes, uh, which would make make it much I better. I like that. All of a sudden. You've had this bike for how many days? Four days. And now you're talking about people like me riding bigger bikes. Bigger bikes, you know. This is a baby bike. Yeah, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't very matter. Smart, though. It's very smart. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got every single thing that my GSA had yeah. on this as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it came with data tag and a tracker. It's also got my Monimoto tracker on it, which is easy. Easy to hide on this bike. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very excited by uh, the prospect of riding it. <laughs> you, you look really excited. I am. This is his excited face. This is my excited face. This is my unexcited face. This is the sun in my eye face. Yeah. Now you've ridden this. I have. It's not very far yet, but you've ridden it. And you said that you were doing 70. And what did it feel like? Nice. It felt really fast. Did it? Which is bizarre, because when you're, on, when you're on, the bit, on the bigger bikes, um, <laughs> bigger bikes but they're on the big I boys bikes <laughs> you're sort of sat in it if you see yeah. what i mean and you're surrounded by it feels like you're surrounded by bike this has the same sort of dimensions as a, as the big gsa's but it feels a little bit more raw do you, you know what i mean like you're on it sort of yeah i mean the seat is not is not as sat down inside it as you would uh, on the other bikes yeah but um, certainly 70 miles an hour on this feels like you're doing 70 miles an hour. But that said, people on forums as well have said, oh, this screen's rubbish, you get a lot of buffeting on the helmet. I've got a peaked helmet and I have had no buffeting at all. Maybe I'm slumped when I'm riding, I don't know, but... Well, you are three foot tall. I am three foot tall, but you can adjust it and I just have it set up like that. Do that again. Oh, look at this, look, there's a big lever. And do you know what? That's easy, isn't it? That's like none of yeah. this screwing thing. Yeah, that's really good. So, uh, yeah, so I like it. TFT yeah. screen, all the bells and whistles, LED, LED lights, LED running lights, gold wheels. And all these come as standard. <clears throat> yes, yeah. Um, yeah, I think so, yeah, on this bike. Gold forks, <laughs> gold wheels. <laughs> it's all about the bling. Look at that. But, and I had oh, to make. Look, this has got a protector in it. Hopefully yeah. you can see it because the light's not that great, but there is a protector on it. Yeah, you can buy an aftermarket one that goes on the top as well, on top yeah. of that. But, and I can't, I can't shy away from the fact that I had to make a massive, massive, what are you doing following me? Where, where are we going? We're going this way. A oh. massive compromise because, da, 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 it's got a chain. What the hell is that? I have no idea, mate. So I'm looking for advice on what I've got to do with it and now I look after it and tidy it and clean it. I do have an oiler, a PD oiler to fit at yeah. some point. But uh, but I do think that when we're talking about chains, that's much of a... Because we do so many miles and we see so many people having to lube it up every night and do loads of stuff. But that's years ago, isn't it? Perhaps yeah, yeah. Completely different they now. are now, I know they are. I think this might be the turning point for Mr Mark. Well, I've had loads of chain bikes. I've just had five GSAs that have been shaft drive and all the blood bikes are shaft drive. So uh, I've become very lazy. Yeah. But, you know, looking forward to it. I do feel like a television reporter here like that in my fantastic well, shorts. It is COVID, so if we stay above the waist, we can get away with anything. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Switch gear and stuff, exactly the same. Everything the same. Yes. There's a couple of slight differences yeah. in as much as if I switch it on. Okay. So you still get the nice graphics. T uh, TFT screen, yeah. ABS Pro. Okay, and when you start it, the suspension's got electronic suspension on it. Yeah. But unlike on the uh, on the, the 1200 GSAs and the 1250s, where you can set your suspension to auto, max or minimum. Yeah. This has got like the old style suspension where you it's still electronic, but you get a little picture comes up for one man, two people one man on his luggage you know and so it adjusts it like that so there's no auto setting yeah it is quite high there's no heat uh seat uh adjustment so yeah none at all but 
you ought to open this because I was astounded. So when we were putting our cameras on the GSAs, we were trying to find... You were astounded? Yeah, I was astounded. We were trying to find a place to fit the camera module. Now, Mark's seat is right. going to be removed. It is. And... Look at this cavernous... Look at this. Oh, now, I am absolutely amazed by the fact that you have got... I mean, you can see... You've, you must have like five in, four or five inches, no, two, three inches probably. Yeah, yeah. Um, have a gap <laughs> in there, but look at the, that's cavernous. It's huge. it's huge, isn't it? So to put things like... There's a toolkit you can put in there as well, you get oh, a toolkit. Okay. And your ca the camera module will fit in there lovely without without any any problems at all. Yeah. So it looks really Batteries nice, Batteries there, easy to get at as opposed to the GSA. Obviously the other side where you've got undo parts and pull it out and then you've got another... Do all that, so this is quite easy. Yeah. So it's all quite accessible. I like it. That's and really I put good. my little... Yeah. Uh, five pound from China cool cover seat on. <laughs> Others are available. Yeah, they are. More, more money. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to spend money. Oh, God. Well, there you go. I'll put it on. Oh no. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. Because I think I've just put it on wrong. LEDs all around. Yep. And your racks here for the Boomot, obviously they would be the same for the Touratex. It's BMW. exactly the same rack as yep. on a 1250, a 1200 that's on this. So there was really no... I didn't have to do anything. So this is one of those bikes, other than buying another GSA, that you've been able to buy without having to buy lots and lots of bits to put on it. Yeah. Being able to take it off the other one and put it on the new. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. The only thing that you were saying earlier on is about the Denali sound bomb that we've got on there that you aren't because able to fit it in be, the same because way. it has this bit of fairing that comes down on. Oh, you're following me. I was coming this side. I was going to lean yeah. over like a professional okay. would. You got this. Um, uh, fairing that comes down here, the sound bomb, I believe, on the 8, 850 GS fits yeah. on the other side of the engine there. Um, so I just find a way of doing it. I might have to stick yeah. it somewhere else, but it'll still find somewhere. The same, same mirrors, same control, same mirrors, everything's the same. Yeah, shall I switch it on? Yeah, there Let we go. Pan out, pan out. Yes, woo, woo. sounds lovely. The exhaust. Sounds great. And as you're driving along, I switched it off now because I'm shouting. Yeah. As you're driving along, it sort of grumbles. I've noticed the, the, it sounds louder than the bike should be, you know what I mean? You get people, I've, I've been through Perrinporth a couple of times and you get all the makers, well, what's that coming through? And it's just this, my little 850. No, but I, lo <coughs> I, lo I really like the styling of it and the colours. Because you didn't really want this colour, did you? I wanted the battleship grey, the German battleship grey, because I thought that was amazing. But they wouldn't do it with gold wheels, would they? Can't be done in gold wheels. Anything can be done if you're the customer. That's the way it should be. Apparently it? not. Mm. I did try. So this was already in the UK, and they located... I did like the blue one as well, and they located a blue one that was in Germany, and they said they could get that over here just in time, but I got this instead. I like it. I really do like it. The GSA exclusive. It says it on the side. GSA exclusive. <laughs> There's Posh. I think it's a really, really nice looking bike. And to be honest, if I come back out, I know I've got a couple of bags on my bike, but that's hey, the hey, two hey. side by side. And to be honest, come here. to an untrained eye, you wouldn't really know the difference between the two, would you? Obviously, if you're a biker and you are, uh, you know your bikes, you know it's a different bike. But if they were going past you together, it would look like they're the same bikes. I think so. Um, and they, they're not particularly different sizes. Obviously, your front wheel is bigger. 21 inch wheel. Rather than the smaller one on the on the GSA of mine on the left. Yep. But what a lovely machine. Oh, right, thank you. What a lovely thank machine. Thank you. So, we're doing um, a long term review, I suppose, because yeah. I'll have it for a while now. And you've got to fit this. this Loads of gubbins to get on it. Other so, bits and bobs, so, but if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Like Toby will do all that. Oh, yeah, obviously. Toby put all the specs on it, I think. If you if... don't like the bike, there are other channels. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you soon.